When we go to Washington, D.C. with our fifth graders, one of the places we often visit is the memorial to President Franklin D. Roosevelt. And it's a very expansive outdoor memorial. And on the last wall before you would exit the memorial are what are referred to as the four freedoms that Roosevelt mentioned in his a 1941 inaugural address. And those freedoms are freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. And our students usually don't have any trouble identifying what freedom of speech means, or freedom of worship, or even freedom from fear. But they have trouble with freedom from want, because the way that we use want generally is to mean I want something and I don't want something else. It is a, we use it in the, in the sense of desire. And the students don't really understand why we would want to have freedom from desire. But if we think about the way that that word is really used, it's similar to what we see in the first verse of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And the idea there is that I won't have a lack. I won't be in a desperate situation where I, 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 my needs are not taken care of. <clears throat> and I think as believers, we often focus on that second part of that phrase. Be, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I won't lack. My needs will be met. But I think the key to those things being true is really found in the first part of that verse. The Lord is my shepherd. And because the Lord is my shepherd, I won't lack. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I won't be in need. Because the Lord is my shepherd, he is enough for me. So today, as you go through your day, I would encourage you to consider how do I view my life? Do I view my life with kind of a scarcity mindset that this is missing and that is missing and I wish I had more of this? Or do I view my life with the idea that the Lord is my shepherd and so because of that, I don't lack anything. He is enough.